What's up guys? I'm back with another one. Um, we're wrapping a truck this time. Uh, finished the BMW and customer came and got it today. And now we're gonna start on this. Um, I think you'll be pretty well uh, shocked to see how much better this thing looks when I'm done. Anyway, let's take a look around it. Customer put these um, wider side bed fenders on there because um, he said his were rusting out. Those are fiberglass. As you can see, the front has the same things. They're big. Um, ugh, makes it a tight fit in here. But I do believe we'll be able to handle it. There's the front. We might wrap this if it gets to it. This needs um, power washed to get all that um, old plastic dip off. That'd be one of the last things I'd do probably. See these big old fenders? I guess he got a good deal on them. That's why I got them in. They look better anyway. When he gets the whole, that's why they're white and the doors are gray in the roof. So when that gets wrapped, uh, yeah, it'll look so much better. Okay, let's keep going around. Oh, I'm barely fit through the garage here. That's why this is like mounted like this. I'm probably just gonna wrap and cut around those. Same with these screws up here. I'm going to work film probably I'm not gonna take the bed off so I'll probably just get down I don't know it's hard to see a couple inches down there and on the sides um, just enough to where it looks decent for now um, the goal is to try to remove this bumper and the tail lights while I kind of let it dry in here and then we'll um, I don't know, get to the rest, I guess. Uh, it's gotta dry a little bit, so I'm gonna remove the couple parts I, that I can like that. Um, the bumper, the tail lights, the badges, um, and the front lights, hopefully. That is the goal today. And maybe maybe you can get a, a panel or two wrapped. So um, I'd like to get these done, get these out, and get this wrapped um, first thing, and then get these back, get these back in get this wrapped. If we can get both of those fenders wrapped, that would be sweet. As you can see, this is going to take a good two, well, that's an eight foot bed, probably like nine foot pieces. That's almost 20 foot of the film right there. I mean, I've got 75 feet, so should be good. He's doing it all just gloss white. It's going to be clean. All right, guys. So it's been a couple hours. I took a break. Um, I've done some sanding and I measured all the panels, wrote those down. Now I have a pretty good idea as to what I need. So, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the panels are fiberglass, meaning magnets won't work. These are attached to the that body, but all this, it's all fiberglass. So, I'm having a hard time holding it up there. My goal, um, I'm about to, attempt this part by myself. My goal is to peel it back over here, get it stuck to this side, maybe this door a little bit, um, and then I'm gonna stretch it that way because, I'll show you on the other side. There's a pretty big dip there, so I'm gonna pull it, stretch it across, and then feed it into this area and hopefully over this. may not seem like much, but I just laid all that in. I still have this side and this side to do, but I had to give my freaking shoulder a break, man. That's actually, it's hard work. Most people probably don't realize, you know, putting a big old sticker on us. It's difficult, but I'm here to tell you, it is. Anyway, I'll show you this fender when it's done, but I just wanted to take the camera off and, and uh, express how difficult that was.
What's that doing? Plastic dip. Plastic dip. The whole door. This is all plastic. These freaking lights. It's pretty comical how they're held up. Cardboard. This is a spacer. Anyways, all right, we finished this uh, rear fender. Or is that what you call this thing? A fender? Anyway, it's done. Um, it's pretty challenging, but not that dip. I mean, not that bad. We're definitely gonna take the rear bump off for the next one, but take a look. I mean, they're already white, so, but it's kind of a better white, I guess. Still see the imperfections in the fiberglass, and then down there, still need to be cut. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this back on. I think it looks alright. Alright. Anyway, that's the back fender. We're gonna continue working. Hopefully at least get a door done tonight and then start in the morning. Alright guys, I know I haven't filmed much um, during the wrapping of this truck, but um, it's because my garage is so freaking small. There's just not a lot of room and uh, it was rather stressful um, because it caused a lot of issues and I just didn't take the camera out to film. You couldn't really get good angles because the truck took up so much room. So um, without further ado, here is the truck. And it's raining out here and I'm staying in the rain. But anyway, I didn't wrap the bumpers. Um, customer had plastic dip them. I tried a little bit to take it off and I just couldn't get it off. So the wrap don't stick to it at all. Um, but as you can see, this is, this was all, sorry, it rained, um, and leaves poured all over it, kind of sucks, but these quarter panels and the back were white fiberglass. Um, then the doors and the roof and the back C pillar was, uh, gray or charcoal, the factory color. Um, so it all turned out pretty well. Um, I could only get in so far in here because I didn't take the bed off, but that all turned out pretty well. There was rust in some areas, unfortunately. And a lot of these places, not on that side, but well, no, not on that side either. So this side, I did those in one piece. Um, but a lot of areas like this here, Oh, no, I did that freaking door in one piece too. All right, this door and every other door I did in two pieces just because you can put that seam on that bottom there and you'll never see it. Um, I did that because it saved film because then I could use the 60 inch piece this way and only cut that wide for it. Um, then use scraps for the bottom. The hood was fun. It was actually one of the easiest panels, although it was big it was pretty easy this Avery or this 3M goes right into these you can work that right into you can work that right into those grooves really easily the guy wanted this real part wrapped because it was but I'm kind of disappointed that came and you can see around the edges it's like real rough and it just doesn't stick it's just bubbling off of that same with over here and I tried putting some edge seal tape on it but that's just not gonna last. Uh, but yeah, here's the other side. You can see right here too, we're on the fiberglass. It's just not sticking to the fiberglass when it needs, when the film needs stretched places, um, it won't work well on the fiberglass and there's nothing I can do about that. Two pieces, two pieces, two pieces. And this I may have done. Yeah, I did this in two pieces. So I couldn't get the bumper off. The bolts were all like rusted. I mean, this truck's old. So the bolts were pretty rusted. And I tried doing this in the two pieces to make that easier on the bumper, but it actually didn't really make it easier. It's still pretty difficult. But uh, yeah, we only wrapped up to here. Not inside here because um, as you can see, there's areas like that where it's damaged on both sides. This really doesn't make a lot of sense to do that, um, to wrap those portions. Um, 
can't really see the roof, but when you get back here, that part behind the bed is fine. It's like only a side angle and like right up on it, does it? Even there, it looks fine. There is not bad, so. Anyways, that's that. I'm now going to get in my car, pull it in the garage, and get ready to finish doing the chrome delete. You want to see this side? Door handles, windows, back piece, tail lights, and I also removed 3.7 badges there for the uh, end result of fully deleting the chrome. That's, gonna, that's the end goal. You might hear there, I got a new exhaust. I will show you that later. But for now, let's get this, this in the garage. But yeah, guys, um, that's it as far as the truck wrap. All right, guys, so I hate to do this, um, but the video, um, the outro I had made for this video didn't work. I don't know why. Um, it just stopped recording at some point. So uh, anyway, I already gave the truck away and everything. So I had to come in later to make an outro, but there it is. That's the truck. Um, a little shorter video, pretty simple. Like I said, there just wasn't much time or space to record. So I just didn't worry about it. Um, but nevertheless, you got to see the truck it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, if you want to see more wraps, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.